Goldman Sachs also seeing some pressure this morning that this is after Deutsche Bank cut their estimates on the stocks, again citing weaker than expected trading revenue. Betty, back to you. Sheila, thank you. Well, uh, let's turn to a different topic. Are regulators really any better prepared to catch financial criminals like Bernie Madoff than they were two years ago? Well, our chief Washington correspondent, Peter Cook, uh, back on the Hill with a guest who is asking that very question today. Peter. Thanks very much. Joined by Senator Ted Koppel, the Democrat of Delaware. He's chairing a hearing today here on the Hill, looking at financial fraud, cracking right. down on financial right. fraud. I want to ask you about the hearing and the sure. details of it, but let me start first with the breaking sure. news we're getting. Even at this hour, right. uh, changes within the Obama economic right. team. Is this an Obama economic right. team in disarray that needs no. changes right now? What's going I don't on think, here? Look, two years. That's usually the time when people start moving on. And these have been a very, very, very difficult two years. I mean, we kind of slide over this, Peter. We talk about it like, well, you know what happened? It was two years ago. I mean, the approval rating and people thinking the country's going in the wrong direction is higher now. People have been out of work for two years. Just think about it. Just think about it. If you were out of work for two years, where you would be in terms of company. So it's been hard work the way I think they've done a great job. I think the, the Recovery Act clearly worked, got the economy moving again. We still got to get it moving more and we got to get the jobs. The main thing right now is jobs, jobs, jobs. So no, I think it's normal. And I think the latest one to leave is leaving the TAR program. And the TAR program is pretty much winding down. So I don't think it's any scene of an economic team in disarray. I think it's an indication of just passage of time and a lot of hard work. All right. Uh, one more quick one on this. Sure. Yeah, I know you spent time in the corporate sector. Do sure. they need a CEO type in Larry Summers' job? A lot of people are talking about that. No, I don't think so. I think I think they they got to find someone like Larry Summers. They got to find someone that's knowledgeable, understands what's going on in the in the in the government, also understands what's going on in the economy, also understands what's happening in the rest of the world. So I think that's kind of the target. I think a CEO, it's not a really a great job. I think for a CEO. All right. Let me ask you about the focus sure. of your hearing today. You've got the head of enforcement for the right. SEC, yeah. financial enforcement at the yeah. DOJ, right. also the FBI yeah. testifying in front of you today. Yeah. Uh, are you any more satisfied today that th those agencies are able to detect financial fraud today than they were, say, two years ago? Peter, that's a great question. That's why we're having the hearing. As you know, a year over a year ago, we passed a bill to give more prosecutors and more uh, uh, FBI agents to the Department of Justice Securities Exchange Commission. So today we're having Lanny Brewer from the Criminal Division, Robert Kazami from the SEC, and Kevin Phillips from the Perkins from the FBI to come in and tell us exactly what they're doing. People don't realize one of the big things that Congress has not been doing a good enough job on, I think, over the last five or ten years is what we call oversight. That's just after you pass a bill, bringing the people in and saying, OK, we passed this bill. You've had these resources. What are you going to do with them? December 2009, I had a hearing with them, kind of what they were going to do with the resources. Now I'm going to come back to them, and they're, they're each going to report on what they're doing, how it's going. And so they're people, doing. They got people point to Goldman Sachs sure. and say that one big fish, but right. there are other people questioning right. why haven't there been more prosecutions as a result? of the I think, and that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. I think that's a, you know a serious problem. They've had prosecutions. Some of them are people are upset because the judges were upset with the decisions on Bank of America, uh, and uh, and uh, anyway that the, that they did, Bank of America and Citigroup they didn't ask for enough money. There's a a lot of questions about how they're doing it, but I'm absolutely, I'm convinced that these three really are committed to get this done. The other thing we have to do, even though it's an oversight hearing, we've got to look at legislation and say, look, do we have the proper legislation to really catch people in these very complex crimes? Bernie people Madoff. Have, Bernie Madoff. No, Bernie Madoff's kind of the easy one. If we just had more of an enforcement division in the SEC, I think we could have solved that. I'm talking more about these complex crimes where there's fraud, because that's what really we were after. We have this giant meltdown, put all these Americans out of work. Put us in the situation in the hole we're in now. My basic feeling was back then, along with Senator Leahy, who's the chairman of the committee, and Chuck Grass, who covered from Iowa, was to go out and say, if anybody committed fraud, let's get them. And they're working on it. That's my main focus. I want them, and that's what they've said they're focused on, and that's what we're going to be saying. Was there fraud going on in Wall Street? That, and people were involved in fraud, and if they are, they should go to jail, just like if you committed a crime anywhere else in, the, in our society. All right, Senator, take off in that hearing yeah. today, this afternoon, yeah. here on Capitol Hill. Betty will be following that, a lot of other stories here on Washington. A lot coming out of Washington uh, this morning, Peter. Thank you so much. And also thanks to Senator Kaufman as well. We're going to be back on In the Loop. A lot more discussion on what is going on in the markets. Uh, you've got some of the utilities and energy shares trading higher. We'll cover why that is. Bloomberg Television is brought to you by Ally Bank. Recognized best safe.